Well, I consider it a, su a successful day. Um, all I had to do today um, was go to an eye doctor appointment. And I did. And it took me all morning of uh, mentally preparing and uh, thinking about it and uh, setting aside all my time. And I thought about going for a run this morning. But then I was like, okay, it's going to take this long to run, this long to get cleaned up, take a shower. And then my hair needs to dry because it takes a long time to dry now. And uh, so, and uh, then I'd, I'd still be, so I decided not to go for a run and just wait. And I thought about taking a little bit of a nap and I was like, wait a second, what if the, and I, so I was like, no, I just, I'll just wait. So my entire day so far was getting to an eye doctor appointment and, uh, and that's done. And then I went to the grocery store and uh, got some food and now I am back. But before I was able to um, come back uh, all the way, um, one of the guys has a, uh, a picnic table set up with a large umbrella outside and the wind, it's windy out and it's cooler too. And the wind caught the umbrella and bent it over metal uh, pole going into the table. Just the umbrella just caught the wind and just, just right over, just bent. And it's like, there's no bending it back. Um, it's just, you know, it's just, so anyway, I had to figure out, well, cause it was just catching the wind and like, I don't know if it was dragging the table at all, but I didn't want it to, and I didn't want it to, you know, somehow interrupt or get attention and cause a disruption of any kind, even if it just got in the way of pedestrians or just was attracted attention. Um, so, and no one else is here. No one was going to do anything about it, I don't figure. So I decided, not knowing exactly how the th whole thing was put together, I just decided, oh, I'll just to take a look and see if I can figure it out. And I was proud of myself that I was able to figure out how to detach the thing from the table and the pole and then there was like spokes on the umbrella and you had to like undo the spokes to release the fabric tension from each spoke and there was like eight or ten spokes and you just had to undo them and the fabric fell away as you know it was like a little bit of tension and the wind was catching it and I was fighting the wind a little bit but I got it done and then I was like what do, what do I do with this thing because I couldn't get the spokes to bend down like to fold and I was just like, well, I'll try to get it. And I was like, no, it's not working. So I left it outside and it's, it has to be good enough. It's not mine. I, so I was just happy that uh, I got it taken care of. To my satisfaction, it's taken care of when I didn't have to do anything. But I did, you know, I, I, I couldn't leave it like that. I couldn't ignore it. Um, not that I'm all proud of myself, but I'm proud of myself for being able to figure it out because I'm not good with that sort of thing. And it was just a little bit of, you know, anyway, anyway. But like I said, I went to the eye doctor and had my eyeballs taken a look at. Um, and not much has changed. They are stable as far as what they said which uh, is a nice way of saying, yeah, they still are terrible, um, but they're not any more or less terrible than the last time. They're still just as equally terrible as normal. It's normal for you. So they are stable. Um, so nothing to report there. They uh, took pictures of my eyeballs, um, the retinal scan, and so I got to see what they look like again, and they look normal to me and to them, um, and, uh, and to do that, they dilate the eyes, so um, my pupils are all large, and um, so that's always interesting, because I can't see very well right now. Um, I, can see macro, I can see macroscopically, but not microscopically. 
so it's like any I can't read anything and uh, so that's always fun it takes a couple hours to wear off <sighs> but you know for whatever reason I just decided I'll take some pictures and I'll I'll do a video and I can't see anything I can't see if it looks any different um, here if you can see anything at all different for me it just looks normal from what I can tell but I can't really focus very well right now it's kind of strained but when my eyes come back to normal I'll be able to look at this and be like oh okay yeah they did look kind of weird so anyway so and then while I was at the uh, eye doctor waiting um, I decided to uh, go ahead and uh, install um, Instagram um, on my phone and I also uninstalled messenger on my phone because it just slows down my phone and my phone just needs as much help as it can get it's it's dying and it doesn't need complicated or it's not not that anything is that my phone is just old it is ancient by today's times and it struggles with even supporting um, basic function um, a lot of more a lot of things say that this browser is no longer supported because just my the whatever and it's just no updating so I just have to get a new phone basically um, I can't even support the, the Fitbit uh, device that I bought because it doesn't have the right operating system it cannot communicate with uh, with the with the Fitbit thing so I uh, my endeavor to see how many miles I'm doing well not this year well not until I get a new phone because I need a new phone to support the Fitbit so that's fun but I should have a free phone um, through through my brother uh, it's not like I, I think you're eligible to get a phone every now and again or something I'm not sure how that works but uh, I'll have to ask him about that. But we don't talk that much. But the next time I do talk to him, I'll have to ask. It'll be something to investigate. Something worth investigating. Um, and let's see. Something worth doing. So, and right now I was just seeing about looking at Instagram on my phone for the first time. But I can't log in. Um, I have to sync up the accounts and it wanted me to on my phone it wanted me to log into Facebook and then create a, create a new account through Facebook and it's like I've already got an account it's just not but I don't want the username and password to be so I'm like trying to do that and it's like I can't see because it's auto generating a password of like you know long password and I and it's just too small like, so I can't I can't see it so I took a picture of it so when my eyes come back into focus I can see what the new password is so I can then on my phone type it in and then log in and only have the one account because I don't want multiple accounts and I don't even know if I'm going to use it but since I'm on there I might as well have something on there but I don't plan on updating or keeping it going that's just a whole other it's like I've already got yeah I've got the Facebook and I've got I've got the YouTube channel and that's enough. I don't need an Instagram account. I'm only using it for the one um, profile um, and the one uh, person to uh, keep in touch with or to, to witness uh, their whatever they happen to do, I guess. Their alternate um, site, I guess, because they no longer support um, the one that's Facebook related for whatever reason um, it's too much whatever not really my business and I'm not told so I just assume it's none of my business so hmm. anyway so I like to stay in touch and see what I see you know it does <clears throat> I don't know it helps me to know that they're doing what they do and are who they are and living how they live I guess and uh, for whatever reason it's like 
you know, maybe it helps them to see how I'm doing, to know that I'm doing as okay as however it is I do on a regular basis, which is mm, questionable, but I mostly stay above water, somehow. I manage. Even as, if it's through just dealing with it, I still manage, even if it's just dealing with it. And I don't have to understand everything and nothing has to make sense, but I just, yeah, that whole thing. It's not going to get any better. I'm going to be like this for my entire life. I can just get used to it a little bit better and not struggle so much. And um, just, it'll take me time. So, and there has been progress. There has been progress. So, and I wish I, I wish I could say, um, I would like to say, because I have to be careful what I wish for. But I would like to be able to say, see, um, that. Um, I knew what I was doing, and I had particular goals in mind that I was working towards with uh, complete understanding of uh, intent and uh, availability and options. Um, I just know for myself that, uh, you know, as far as like my own personal uh, availability, accessibility, approachability, and attainability are fluctuating as far as like how comfortable I am with my boundaries um, and my sense of time and space with uh, making room and, um, and making time um, for anything and everything about me. Because um, I'm just so used to just being by myself and not having to be concerned about anything or anyone around me. I don't have to balance a schedule about what anyone else is doing. Um, I just have my own schedule to worry about, or to live by, or however it does that you know, I do things. And uh, yeah, call it selfish, or call it what one will, but uh, it is what I know, and I don't know how to live any other way than the one I do, or be, how it is the way I am. Like, I can pretend to lots of things, but uh, pretending doesn't make it true. Or something like that. I'm not sure. But um, I wrote down some thoughts um, as interesting inclusions and in near-term works that have not been constructed yet. But they're somewhere. So, it is September 20th, and the uh, vernal equinox is today, the autumn equinox. I think it happens here at 7.58 in the p.m., Not that that really, I just notice it, that's all. I'm aware of it. The significance of it is, uh, it's just something, it's just, I just aware, that's all. I don't do anything. And then the full moon, uh, the harvest moon is on Wednesday at like 2 p.m. So, and I guess as far as anything else is concerned, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't think I'm meant to know. I, I, I don't think, hmm, it really just, um, it's always back and forth, back and forth. Like, is this anything to do with me, or am I just imagining everything? And I'm, I'm really just a, a casual curiosity of uh, an intelligence that has the capability of reflecting well.
a synchronous cascade event. But nothing more is wanted. You know, I'm just just that. And because I figure if, if any more was wanted, I would be let know. And if I am being let know, then I don't get it, and I don't recognize it. Um, it's because I don't have any, um, you know. And if it's something like, well, if I were supposed to be or were, you know, a person that, you know, it's like, and I don't, then it wasn't to be because I don't get it or, or you know, something like that. Or if I was the correct person or the right person at the right place, right time, I would automatically somehow understand and uh, then therefore um, be able to respond so it's like since I'm not responding um, it means that I don't get it or something like that or maybe I am responding and I just don't know it's really difficult for me to tell if I'm having um, if I am of any importance and if I am having any sort of um, impact or lasting effect. So, and for my own personal safety, I've had to um, emotionally distance myself from any uh, reality that is um, confident. I've had to set aside uh, confidence because uh, I don't. <sighs> I cannot afford to be um, emotionally invested as deeply um, as I would like to be, um, lest I be completely wrong about everything. And uh, and I am just a, a you know, <sighs> just another person. No one special. You know, and I am special, just not in this particular case with you know, situation. You know. I'm just, yeah. You know, I mean, I'd like to be, but. And maybe I am, too. It's just difficulties in communication. But um, I do know that uh, if the willingness is, it's a, it, there is a, a, an ability that comes out of willingness. It's like, if it's wanted, it's, it's able to be done. But. Um, So, if it's not being done, it might not be wanted. So it's like, hmm, it makes me think to just leave alone, disappear, go away, stop bothering. They've got their own life to see about, and what is for them will find them. And, uh, and just because I don't agree with it, or it doesn't seem like it's for them or to me, it's like, who am I to say, and who am I to judge, and all that fun stuff. You know, so it's like, if I see bad stuff start to happen, and it's like, and it's so distant, so it's like, I just better just go. I cannot help, and I just wouldn't want to witness it. Because it's like, I don't get, you know, it's like... I just can't watch another person disappear. I've seen enough of that. It's like I'd rather have been um, some sort of positive and then just kind of step back and just... I don't know. I'd like there to be more. But uh, it might just be a... I'd like there to be more. But I can't uh, and shouldn't. They know where I am. They know how I am and what I do and what I'm capable of as far as like my, well, maybe they don't know. Maybe they don't. My capacity and my potential. 
Or maybe I give myself too much credit for what I can do. But um, it's difficult to say. Hmm. There's so much mystery and curiosity and things like that that I, I, I wouldn't be able to... I'm currently not in a position to comprehend what's going on or what's not going on. But uh, by the time the next tech break rolls around, you know, maybe there's a time when there won't be a need for a tech break. There will be a, you know, some sort of stability or balance that uh, there won't be such a thing where one needs to fight to escape one's own reality and find uh, more of a constant, more of a balance in one's existing reality that one doesn't not need to escape from it, like put so much into it for a short period to, that one has to then step away completely. You know, was, or maybe there's some sort of shifting um, where it's not like all or nothing. It's more like just or gradually, you know, ebbing and flowing or something. Or well, it's not like on off. I don't know. I only know how things make sense to me. I don't know how things make sense to anybody else. Or how they explain, you know, rationalize, justify. You know, it's like I don't like to have to explain or justify myself. So it's like if I just don't want to do something, I'm just not gonna do it and I'm not gonna explain it to anybody. It's just not gonna happen. And I tend to get irritated when I feel like somebody is requiring an explanation for it to be okay. It's like, I'm not asking for it to be okay. I'm just, this is how it's going to be. And I don't, I'm not going to explain. So I kind of get that. I do get that. So. But if it's a problem for me, then it's a problem of mine. So. I'm free to go away at any time. And I don't think, and that's the question, it's like, would I even be noticed? Oh, there's that weird guy, he stopped writing. Okay. Hmm. I think I'm, I think I'm have greater value than that. Um, but it's hard to say. People are strange. I should know. I'm one of them, apparently. But to me, I'm normal. Everybody else is. You know. What a weird world. But it is windy out. And a uh, little drizzle here and there. And uh, I didn't go for a run this morning. And I might go for a run tomorrow after work. Or I could go for a run. That's one of the beautiful things about my life. Is that I don't really need to decide much in advance. I just take care of things as I go. I don't know if that's been like, was that my intention to get to a point in my life where it's like that? I sure uh, didn't like my life up in Wisconsin. I got away from it. I didn't. I got trapped up there. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't know how. I, was gonna, uh, I had to basically. I didn't have to fake my own death to get away from there. I just. I just died my own death. Only it just didn't take. So. There's more to it than that, of course. But that's what. It, that's my basic summary for this moment. Hmm. I don't want to get trapped like that again. In a prison of my own making. Not good. So, anyway. On a fun note. Yeah. No. But, uh. It's getting towards fall. And the leaves are changing slowly on some types of trees. Some species. 
and uh, and I was thinking about uh, poetry and uh, how I'm not supposed to I don't I not to take it literally and uh, figuratively um, just to you know absorb it um, dream on it let it permeate and uh, I don't know be an influence there are influences that I like to be influenced by others not so much but there are some that uh, just the the spirit and the nature <sighs> however it manifests um, just appreciate it and uh, I've been thinking recently about where I would be if I hadn't. Um, what sort of um, person would I have uh, naturally developed towards becoming um, without that influence? Um, I'd be around probably close to about where I am right now. Maybe. I don't know. But I've definitely had a um, gentle nudge in a slightly different orbital path than the one I was, I think, the traje trajectory I was on before. I was going to get to where I was going eventually anyway, but I think I guess got a little nudge in the right direction at the right time from the right person. And, uh, yeah. And if that's all it was, then that's good. So, and I hope maybe I helped out too in my way, whatever way that is, which I don't understand my own consequence. Of course, I'm probably not supposed to. You know, if I knew, if I had a full grasp or perf perfect knowledge of any of those things, then it would probably drive me further, um, more insane, um, if that's you know what, what we want to call it. But I would be paralyzed by decision-making if I knew the finer details of all the little things. Like, well, if I do this, then this is going to happen. And this, and this, and this, and this, and this. All the ripples. So it's better that I don't know a lot. Even though if I want to know, it's better that I don't know. Otherwise, it'll influence my... But there's some things I really should know, I, I kind of think. Um, otherwise, I'll, you know... So it's like, I'll just make decisions regardless, and things will happen. Um, and I'll take responsibility for them. Um... But knowing in advance, some things would, you know, probably be helpful. Because otherwise I'll think that nothing is happening or, or something is happening, but nothing is. So then I'll be like, oh, okay, well, I guess that's not, you know, and I'll just go do something else or make a decision that it's like, oh, wait, I assumed you understood this. And it's like, no, I didn't actually. <laughs> People give me credit for knowing things that I don't know or understanding things that I don't understand. Because I, I give off the impression that I do. Because it's like, no, I just blissfully am unaware and ignorant and oblivious to most of what anyone else is going. Or it just, it's not that I'm, it's not that I don't care. It's just, you know, it's just I don't notice. I'm in my own world. And, uh, and it's, I don't know. Here I am. I've already talked. I, I meant to make a short video because I didn't have much to say. Say la vie. So. And I was planning on going out um, and taking a picture or two or three or a video or filming the entire process of a sunrise this morning out in the field. But then it was raining and it was cloudy. And it was just gray. So, I didn't. But, um, I got my little torchlight going. So, a little bit of fire. Artificial fire, I suppose. But, it's, uh, I like it. So, it'll have to do.